All right, guys, I've got a new gauge here, and it's typically for a barbecue pit or something in that neighborhood, but it goes to 800 degrees, and my little furnace here also does so. And if you want one of these, I'll put you a link down at the bottom. There's kind of hard to find this one with this setup on it, but I'm gonna put you a link at the bottom down there where you hit the show more, my upload date thing, and look for exactly this model, okay? And it's a little different than the regular barbecue pit ones. Look how long it is, see? So it really gets in there and gets a sense of the heat. So let's go here right quick and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. On my big heating unit. This is the big heating unit that uses used motor oil or um, transmission fluid or anything with a flash value. So if it'll burn, it'll go in here. And this little gauge here is a thermal gauge. And it just, you drill a hole for it. Uh, I'd say probably about 7 16 um, or 10 millimeter and you drill a hole for it and just install it don't put it directly in the fire zone put it above it a little ways but it'll give you a pretty good idea of your heat temperature and mine is going to be close to the fire probably about four inches from the tips of the fire general tips of the fire and we're installing it right up here so we're going to be putting this gauge right through right there I'm gonna go ahead and get a hole drilled put it in and then we're going to fire this big heater up. You've seen it in my other videos. Go back if you want to see how this thing was built. This is that uh, shop heater shutdown and all that. This is a shop heater unit that I built that's been working perfectly for all these years. We're going to be upgrading this really soon. So this is part of it. And uh, add an additional pipes and blowers to it because it's very efficient. But we want to upgrade it some more. And this is part of it. So let's get this drilled and put in and we'll go through a fire up all right now we've drilled it by using progressively upstaging the bits so i started with a quarter went to a 5 16 and then drilled it with a 7 16 to get the size and i've got this ready so it's just got a little wing nut on the back and just taking off the wing nut and the washer because you put the washer on the inside and taking off the wing nut and the washer we will be able to slide it in so the way that this is you see the hole up here it's kind of dead center above my door okay and we're going to put this in just like that see what it's going to look like right there and then we're going to add the washer and the wing nut on the back tighten it up firmly don't over tighten so let's get that in right quick all right now we have it mounted and it's pretty simple setup, not very drastic. You see it just mounts flush right on your can there on your heater. Pretty good size. This one is hard to find. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, the link will get you to this one and it's kind of hard to find because look how big it is. It's easy to read from a distance. I mean, it's, it's sizable. Look at the drill. Most of them you get are only about an inch and a quarter. This one's two and a half plus. I think it's uh, I don't know, 23 millimeter or something, it, but it's two and a half inches plus, so it's very good size, easy to read. We're going to go ahead and start this process, go ahead and fire up the heater right quick, and my process for that is simple. We're going to put in the fuel, starter fuel and wash fuel, it's a mixture of mineral spirits and a little bit of diesel, and then we're going to kick in a little bit of oil behind it, and then we're going to just put that oil a tiny 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 drip so i mean look at my finger here. <laughs> that's that's tiny but that's all it takes so let's do that and i'll show you this next step right quick where i'm just going to use a piece of a paper towel and i'm going to throw it down in here in that in that mix and start it with a torch right there and then we're going to come over here to where i have my timer and fan and on the side of the switch kicks on the blower that's outside the blower sends air pressure in through here and it creates a vortex using this setup so we have the fire starting now and we're going to go ahead and increase our fuel in it all right we got the oil flow still going in takes a little bit to get these things up and running good go and you'll see up here 
temperature in the unit is starting to come up right before your very eyes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close door. In my case, I have a little clamp because these little stove doors aren't great. And you can look on my other videos. You'll see how I built this and everything else. Now remember, this is just used motor oil, okay? And there's our temperature now. See if I can get you a better view of that. Look at that temperature coming up. So we run it at a good heat, probably about 700. the switch over here the automated switch that will turn on the fan units well you'll be able to hear them kick on here pretty quick see that fan back in there I don't know if you get a clear view of that well, we have a few of them that's already coming on and our temperature our normal running temperature is about 6 to 650 so she get, it's getting up there about right now That's about where it's going to level off at for using that amount of oil. I mean, if you can see that, this is a three quarter inch uh, T. And you can see that tiny amount of oil. You hear that fan kick on? Now that was blowing. There it is. Going straight through there, out the back. And the flames go up and hit that one and heat us all up. So this one here runs at about Sorry about the camera moving around there. At about 650. So not too bad for a, uh, uh, a method of keeping an eye on your heat. So well, what the reason for this is we don't want to overdo it. Sometimes some of these oils, even though that is just the size of a mechanical pencil lead of oil flow, Sometimes you get some pretty volatile oils and you want to keep it below 700 degrees because one 650 makes this shop real nice and warm But at a certain rate it gets to burning so hot and so fast that it actually ruins my My catalyst system down in there, which is a stainless steel bowl with a catalyst screen out of a Mercedes um, Catalytic converter so it literally, the platinum causes that to, the molecules to explode and we have an extremely hot flame at that point. So let me open her up and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So right now, this is a, this is a 650 degree flame. See that I open the door and drop down temperature wise. But this thing here, and you can see by that inch and a quarter pipe how, how big the flame is. And the little, the little bits that you see spitting out right there, that's actually just burnt bits of the paper that I threw in there when I lit it. It eventually will clean up from that. So but there you go. Pretty good sized fire. Pretty hot. And that little device is a good safety device to own. And watch it as soon as I close it up, temperature's gonna start coming right on back up again. All right, guys. If y'all wanna know more about this, look in my older videos. You'll see this big oil furnace, used oil heater. And it is just made out of a water tank pressure tank that we used in uh, a farmhouse that we had so 
That's it. 80 gallon pressure tank. Really good. 3 16 wall thickness. Very strong. So, all right. Y'all be good.